G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here with an item from New Scientist. It's titled Left Brain, Right Brain. And basically, we're coming up with some neuroanatomical and neurophysiological differences between uh, different styles of politics. For example, when they measure the physical reactions of liberals and conservatives to aversive stimuli, they find major differences. Tough on crime pro-military conservatives have a more pronounced startle reflex after hearing a sudden loud noise. They also show stronger skin responses when shown threatening images and look at them more rapidly and for longer. Most recently and controversially, focus has shifted to differences in brain structures and functions in one experiment conservatives on average had a larger right amygdala a region of the brain that processes responses to fear and threat. Liberals, in contrast, had more grey matter in the anterior cingulate cortex, an error-detecting region that is thought to be involved in causing us to stop repeated patterns of behaviour and to change course. So, your right wing, right wing militaristic law and order fetishist has extra circuits in the amygdala for being frightened with, and your left wing sort of free thinker has more circuits for detecting errors, right? So the left wing liberal has better circuits for detecting the errors in the anxious thoughts of the right wing militarist. That's cute. The amygdala finding dovetails nicely with Hibbling's work on startle reflexes. Conservatives, on average, really do seem to respond to fear and threat differently and to focus on what Hibbling calls the aversive in life rather than the appetitive. These experiments are themselves an extension of older and long-standing body of research on personality differences between liberals and conservatives. Across a range of studies, liberals consistently rate higher on a tray called openness to experience. They are both ideologically liberal, comfortable with policy innovation in social and political change, and also personally liberal. Conservatives, in contrast, tend to be less open and also consistently rate higher on conscientiousness, which means that they tend to prize orderliness and structure. Stand in neat straight rows. Sig Heil, Zu Beffel. Conscientious people are driven, competent, organised and, on average, politically conservative. Sig Heil! Finally, there are a substantial number of genetic studies. Again and again, these show that identical twins who share all of their DNA tend to be far more politically similar to one another than fraternal twins who share half of it. This is something that bears thinking about. Ciao.